Can you trust your ears? Many of you know different illusions that delude your eyes, but how often do you hear of illusions for our ears? Can you really trust your ears and what they hear? An example, listen and try to understand what she says. Four, 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 four. What did she say? If you heard four, 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 then you're right. But what do you hear now? Four, 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 four. There's a chance that you may hear poor or door now, with a P or D, but actually you don't. It is one and the same audio, with both videos. As crazy as it may seem, what you hear depends on which of the two videos you see. Watch both videos in turns now and listen how the sound changes. Four, 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 four. This is a perfect example for the so called McGurk effect, which shows how our senses can change and what we think to hear. Now I want you to count how often you see a circle appear. And now again. Did you see it twice? If yes, then you are one of the many people who do too. Without noise, it becomes clear that the circle only appears once. In this case, the noise fooled your optical perception. The next example works best with several people. Two different notes are played, and you should say whether the tone rises or falls. In other words, are the notes played from low to high or from high to low? Listen carefully. And which one was it? How about in this example? Note down what you heard with both examples and let us know in the comments. If you listen to it with a group of friends, there's a chance that you all heard something different. Big surprise? Let's try a few more. And now this one. How is it possible that you heard something different than the others? This is an audio illusion called tritone paradox. It's all built up in a way so that both notes can say high and low frequencies, but our brain decides which one we want to hear. Diana Deutsch, the creator of the illusion, discovered that your origin and the language you spoke as a child play a big role in your decision. To finish off, listen to this audio clip with a rising melody. This effect is called Sharpat scale. There are quite a lot of variations. Several so-called sine waves are played at the same time, with increase of the pitch. One of the sine waves lowers by an octave, which sounds like the note wanders higher and higher. This illusion helps explain why music, for example, has such a strong but varying impact on our minds. So guys, if you still can't believe it, listen to it all again, share the video with your friends, and test if your friends heard the same thing as you do. We'll see you next time, take care.